Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight's night 23 in my routine of recording a coding bat solution while schools are closed. Um, tonight we're looking at make tags in the string one section and this is the Java solution. I'm not going to try and read the problem because when I did it actually was a bit of a mouthful when I read in the Python solution. But let me summarize. What we need to do is we need to take these two parameters, i and ya yeah here, and we need to generate this string. So the key thing with this problem is, and what I kind of highlight for students if I'm working with them, is you want to kind of identify what is consistent and what is based on the parameters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take those strings here, and I'm going to take a second, and I'm going to kind of use a tagging convention here. When I say tagging convention, what I mean is just look at what is consistent and what is unique. So we look in every case, and in every case, the first character is always that, that open brace. So I'm going to put an X under that. The next character in this case is an I, an I, and a sight. And we can see that in the three situations, that's always the tag. So I'm going to put a T here, T there, and I'm going to put a T four times to cover that. Then I notice the next character is the same, so I'll put an X, followed by the word, followed by the same two characters, it's an open brace and a slash, followed by the tag, followed by, again, that closing of a brace. And so what I'm doing here is I'm identifying what is the same and what is unique based on the parameter. And now I use that process of concatenation, which is adding strings together, to simply generate that, the result. So I'm going to return. Ooh, I didn't close that quite properly. Like this. I'm going to return. And so the first thing we notice in every case is the same, and that's going to be that open, that open brace. Then I have the tag plus the closed brace. It's the same in every case. Plus the word. Plus, and now we have a slash, oh, open brace slash plus the tag, plus, oh, pardon me, plus the close brace. And I hit go. Oh, and of course, because I'm doing Python all the time, I forget my semicolon, but there it is. So again, not a really hard problem once you see how to do it, but what you want to do is you want to kind of develop this idea of writing down these concrete cases and looking at what is the same and what is unique, and then using those parameters to kind of put the unique elements in. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.